Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to your October 2020 weekly Psychic Tarot card prediction. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and I'd like to thank you for supporting my channel. It keeps me able to provide you with these free readings. And there also is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Two of Swords, Aries. This is air energy. This is moon in Libra. Indecision. Stalemate. Stasis. It's a stressful decision. You need to look honestly at a change to need, that needs to be made. You need more information. You'll have to collect more facts. It may be something that's right in front of you that you're not seeing. You could be working at cross purposes with another person. Could be that ignorance or denial causes you to be stuck in a circular emotional pattern. It can be a situation of great tension. Being at a crossroads and neither person wants to give in. You might want to take the high road in this situation. Maybe you're waiting for the timing to be just right. But with courage, a change can be made, and often good comes out of what appears to be a bad situation. This is being impatient for change and doing nothing about it. It's being unresolved, impartial, cool-headed. It's striving to be objective. It's suspended judgment. It's mulling things over and avoiding a premature decision. You might be compromising or staying mentally balanced amid change. Could be choosing between two bad outcomes. It's avoiding conflict, maybe acting uninterested. It's keeping the peace. Maybe you do not wish to upset someone else. It could be that someone just needs some space to be themselves. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Four of Cups, Aries, Water Energy, Moon, and Cancer, which brings in moodiness. There's this offer that you're contemplating, thinking about, maybe even not noticing. It could be as easy as the phone keeps ringing and you're not answering it. Maybe you know what to expect. Maybe there's something you just do not want anymore. It could be waiting for the right opportunity. For something new to come in. It's resting and withdrawing. There's some options. You do have that offer. You might be feeling flat and uninspired, self-absorbed, going within. It's being not interested. This is a voluntary withdrawal, like taking time out to contemplate and meditate on your emotions. Maybe life seems dull and meaningless. You'll need to wait for your mood to rise. Two of Swords with the Four of Cups is indecision over an offer. It's a stalemate and moodiness. It can also represent administration and writing. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Number seven of Wands, Aries. Fire energy. Now this is Mars in Leo. The card of the Lionheart. It's defending what matters. Standing your ground. This is the card of the nonconformist, as indicated by the two different shoes. Or maybe you're so busy with all the things that you're already doing, you put on two different shoes in your haste. Could be having to do one things, one thing after another. It could be stiff competition in business and a chance to prove yourself. Maybe you're feeling singled out, like you're harassed and doing all the tasks alone. You'll need to have faith in yourself. And you are on the path of progress. You are learning skills to handle bigger tasks and different energy. You're holding your own, and you're putting up boundaries and saying no to others. It could be something you do not want anymore. The Two of Swords with the Seven of Wands is no change. It's avoiding making a decision. 
your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Ten of Wands, Aries, more fire energy. Now this is Saturn in Sagittarius. Saturn brings in our toughest lessons. This is feeling overloaded. There's a need to bear up. It's someone that feels oppressed and burdened by life. It could be responsibility that's wearing this person down. It's something they cannot let go of. Been working hard, but this problem is soon to be solved. Tens are beginnings and endings, and these are ambitious burdens. A heart tried by pain, it's fortune and gain and any kind of success, and it's the oppression of these things. It's feeling resentful. It's taking stock of priorities. They may seem burdensome, this new cycle and responsibilities that are beginning now, but you do have the strength to shoulder them. This can be too much of a good thing. But make sure others are doing their fair share. Ask for help if you need it, and do not let pride stand in the way. Two of Swords with the Ten of Wands is having to make a heavy decision. It could be thinking it's a bad or a heavy load. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others. Yet you are consciously aware of this. Queen of Pentacles, Aries. Earth energy person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Male or female. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This person is generous. They're benevolent. They're practical and capable and orderly. They're domestic. And they respect money as a tool, but they do not worship it. They want tangible results from the money they distribute or offer or loan you. This represents security and a mother or someone nurturing like a mother. And this is harvest after much labor and prudent uses of resources. This is someone that's protective and nurturing and resourceful. They're down to earth and fertile and healthy. They're a homemaker, a housekeeper. They love gardens and growing things and nature and animals. And they're affectionate and caring. And they know how to manage money. They're very clever and they enjoy gossip. And they love the good things in life. And having acquired them, they're content to spend their life enjoying them. And they're satisfied when they get what they want. This is contemplation. It's contentment and material plenty. This has to do with help given of a practical nature. It has to do with material concerns. This is someone that teaches us that what is cherished must be cared for. It's someone that puts a high value on stability. The Two of Swords of the Queen of Pentacles is deciding about practical or tangible matters. The Four of Cups with the Seven of Wands is needing more space. It's being already on top and waiting for a better break from hard work. This person could be stubborn or someone could be ungrateful. The Four of Cups with the Ten of Wands is feeling unmotivated. Four of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles is an offer from a nurturing person. It's considering your options before proceeding. It could be delays in getting your desires. It's an opportunity or an offer to achieve your goals. The Seven of Wands with the Ten of Wands is standing up for the reason you work so hard or preventing yourself from getting hurt, and you do have the strength. The Seven of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles is protecting your home and putting family first. The Ten of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles is a heavier workload and being focused on the burden. Here's your card from the Vice Versa Tarot deck by Lumia Weatherstone. It's the Ace of Pentacles. Really good card to have, Aries. It's the number one of pentacles, the root of earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's divine energy. It's a special offer. It's like having a mini sun in your reading. And it's that side. The person with the discs sound, stands on a cobblestone street facing a large and impressive stone building. Two prosperous gentlemen stroll by, engaged in animated conversation. They are smiling, and it seems that their decision benefits them both. When you get this side in a reading, 
The general good fortune indicated on the other side gets more specific here. There is a very special time to make investments with other people or to take on business endeavors in a partnership. Cooperation, collaboration, or even just brainstorming with the creative minds will open up new avenues of abundance for all concerned. Thanks, you guys, Aries. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.